dividing decimals with number chips. This is a Thanksgiving version. And it starts telling students how to move the decimal point when they're dividing. And then it gives them a couple of examples. So for example, on this one, we need to move the decimal point on the divisor so it goes all the way to the right. So one place to the right in the divisor, one place to the right in the dividend. And it gives another example here when you're moving two places to the right in both the divisor and the dividend. And starting on slide five, students are going to be moving the number chips into the correct place. So to move them, they just click on the edge and hold, and they can move it where they like. So the first thing that's going to ask them is how many places will you move the decimal point to the right? Well, in this one, we only need to move it one, so they're going to type in a one. Now they're going to do the division. Nine goes into 32 three times. So click and hold on the edge of the three. Three times nine is 27. Good review of long division. So it starts out with some easier problems, gets more difficult as they go. So now they subtract. Bring down. And then nine goes into 54 six times. Now the last thing they have to do is move this decimal point. So if they move the decimal point one place to the right, and then it goes straight up, it's going to be between this three and the six. Hey, okay, they're going to do th the same thing on the next few slides. It gets a little bit longer as they go. Now when you get this far, this is slide nine. I'm going to be doing the same thing, um, but Remember, all of the numbers they have are need, all the numbers they need are on every slide. So if they get down to the end and the numbers aren't working, then they know they've made an error somewhere and they need to go back and check. Just make sure they don't forget to put the decimal point in their answer. So they have several problems to practice with. Now, each one of these slides has a yellow heart in the upper right hand corner with a letter. So that's going to help them solve the riddle in the last slide. So what did the sweet potato say when it was asked if it was hungry? So they have to find these quotients on one of the previous slides. When they find that quotient, then they're going to look in the upper right hand corner. They'll find a letter in the yellow heart, and they're going to type that letter above its quotient. And that should solve the riddle. So this is Thanksgiving dividing decimals with number chips.